You're watching the new Stack Makers, a podcast for people who develop, deploy, and manage at scale software. For more information and articles about at scale technologies, please visit thenewstack.io. Now enjoy the show. IBM helps organizations cut through IT operations complexity with an automation strategy that seamlessly connects applications and systems with AI-powered, API-driven automation, delivering dynamic, scalable, and intelligent system integrations through unified experience. Hello, and welcome to the New Stack Makers. I'm your host, Heather Joslin of the New Stack, and today we're going to talk about smart APIs and how they are being used by enterprises to accelerate growth. For this conversation, I'm joined by Naraj Nargund, who is uh, oversees the strategic partnerships at IBM. Hello, Naraj. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Uh, pleasure to talk about uh, smart APIs and what IBM is doing. Excited. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, Naraj, obviously, everyone who's watching or listening to this um, video podcast knows about IBM, but what, what can you give me a sense of what your role is there? So uh, I'm, as my hat says, uh, play a um, alliance role with IBM and AWS. Um, so IBM and AWS got into a strategic collaboration agreement, uh, I want to say somewhere in 2022. Uh, it's a partnership that is aligned uh, around three key areas, our software partnership, our a hybrid cloud partnership and a consulting partnership. So, uh, and with all the new acquisitions that IBM has made over the last year, year and a half, this partnership has just uh, strengthened uh, pillar to pillar. Uh, we are one of, uh, like AWS is one of our strategic blue partners um, whom um, IBM technology uh, has a lot of op offerings on AWS as SaaS, as software. So. 90 plus offerings on the marketplace and around 30, 35 plus SaaS offerings. So I lead the strategic partnership for the automation brand at IBM. Excellent. Um, so let's let's get started talking about uh, smart APIs. Um, first of all, why is API management so important now, especially for an enterprise? Uh, uh, so if you talk about enterprises and if you talk about their core business process, I mean, uh, APIs run the core business process. You want to scale and uh, when you scale in, uh, across uh, the enterprise with so many different business functionality processes, etc., you want to have um, automated discovery, you want to have observability, uh, you want to have governance. Uh, there's so much sprawl of the APIs. So uh, very important um, uh, uh, from a business, from an enterprise perspective. Now with sprawl will come security threats. So uh, everything that we talked about security back in the days is still relevant. Like you have zero trust, OAuth, OIDC, runtime anomaly, uh, so many, uh, everything become very critical. Um, at the API gateway level, at the API level, um, and you will see a lot of news around uh, security around the API. Um, other key element why it is important is a hybrid, a hy hybrid and multi-cloud and edge, right? Uh, enterprises just don't use one hyperscale. They use multiple hyperscalers. They have so many different SaaS services that you use. They run uh, on 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 the edge, they run on prem. So, with so many different s types of deployed uh, infrastructure and APIs running across, uh, obviously, it becomes very important uh, for the enterprises to have a strong API management um, and governance and observability around APIs. Definitely relevant. Yeah, and you mentioned sprawl. I mean, a lot of organizations sometimes they have APIs they don't even know they have. I mean, it's 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 things that were built and then fell into disuse or or they forgot about or um, uh, another you know people who who have left the company used to to manage and and so forth. Um, 
Well, let's talk about smart APIs. What is meant by, what is a smart API for those who might not know, be familiar with that term? Um, smart API, uh, I would say an API which is infused with AI. Uh, often there's an event or a context awareness around that API. Uh, you can easily adapt, uh, adapt, assist uh, across its life cycle. Uh, there's an AI assisted uh, governance uh, design. Uh, when you're building, there's a context aware behavior. That's what makes it smart. Um, I mean, especially with the agent framework and uh, machine agents and everything. So the state and context that are used for the agent workflows and the eventual API integration around that uh, becomes very critical. Uh, that's where quote unquote uh, smart comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, if I have to sum it up earlier, we used to say APIs uh, move data, right? Go get, fetch, what have you. Uh, and now smart APIs help interpret and act on it. That's where the smartness comes in. Um, what are what are some of the advantages and capabilities of a smart API, especially for you know a larger organization that has a lot of APIs? So we talked earlier about sprawl, and you mm -hmm. mentioned <laughs> building. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you need better governance, right? Uh, you need governance at scale. Um, I mean, what are the endpoints? Are there shadow APIs, uh, remediations? Uh, that's thousands of APIs that you build. You need a better governance uh, at scale over there. Um, now with uh, generative assistant and, G and Gen AI and which create automated documentation and test generation, etc. You need faster delivery, right? You want to re you want to reduce the toil. Uh, so obviously, this is capability that you need. Um, then uh, anybody who talks about API will talk about monetization and productization of the APIs. How do you package the data and the insights, and uh, how do you help curate and price and segment usage? All these become uh, capabilities uh, that you need. Uh, then we, uh, I talked about earlier when you asked about smart, right? Uh, event awareness, et, et cetera. Like, uh, you need to be able to bridge uh, your APIs with streaming and real-time apps and AI agents. So there has to be a sort of like an event readiness, uh, driven readiness uh, around your smart APIs in large organizations. I mean, I would say large and medium organizations as well, but very relevant in large organizations. So absolutely needed. Uh, these would be some of the capabilities needed. Um, I know that uh, IBM's API Connect platform has been around for a few years. What what role do smart APIs play in that now? Uh, API Connect. Uh, if you look at API Connect and if you look at where I, uh, IBM is heading, we are embedding API uh, in, in, into the entire life cycle of API Connect, right? Uh, into the AI gateway, there's a what's next AI integration. Um, it's a guided uh, wizard, I, I would say, to create AI-aware APIs, uh, enforce the access, etc. cetera. Um, we have a VS Code agent that translates natural language into actions. Uh, Right. So it's an API agent, AI assistant. Uh, then we have the Data Power Nano Gateway, the API Studio, the API Connect. Uh, these are some latest announcements. It's like a unified AI-ready platform uh, for your edge gateways, uh, which is lightweight, again, nano, and an AI-powered API Studio, studio for full, uh, uh, full lifecycle automation. Um, that I talked about earlier, that AI-aware API. So ability to create that. Um, so smart APIs, uh, again, where we are heading, AI-assisted design and governance, again, relevant. AI-aware routing, re relevant. Uh, if you're talking about enforcement, enforcement at edge, nano, uh, very important. 
Uh, then if you talk about agents uh, and agent tooling, and that's where the API is all uh, integrated together using our Watson X platform. Um, a lot of companies, obviously we're in a time when a lot of companies are integrating um, AI into their tech stacks. Uh, for many, the investment you know has not yet delivered a big ROI. Um, how do you think, uh, what, what do you, th how do you think about an AI integration forward strategy uh, in terms of how it can accelerate growth in the coming years, especially for enterprises? Hmm. So you talked about uh, ability to scale uh, versus the pilots, right? right? We hear a lot of pilots happening and you want to scale beyond that. Um, surveys that we have uh, seen, uh, uh, the enterprise level impact uh, is not even. Uh, it's an uneven enterprise level impact on these pilots. Mm -hmm. uh, so ability to, uh, when you redesign your workflows or embed AI into the systems of record, uh, uh, so you need to ensure that for you, if you want to scale it out, move beyond the pilot, you need to have an enterprise level impact uh, for that. If it's a small pilot somewhere happening some place, I mean, it's good to start out with, but True ROI is you need to identify those where you have an enterprise level impact. Uh, obviously, that means you need to have a measurable uh, returns, right? How do you measure the ROI of an AI project? So that means given you have so many agents and APIs, you need to have a discipline integration path. Uh, um, so you need to have a proper API uh, and create a proper governance around it. You need to measure the uh, specific metrics, uh, tabulate that together. Um, so that is important. Um, that's where we see uh, companies moving slowly over there. But yeah, there's some, um, if, you, if you want to move from capability to advantage, you'll have to uh, identify these uh, enterprise level f flows where we can have a measurable impact. So it's it kind of, has to be visible, right? <laughs> In essence, what I'm trying, you need to be able to reduce your cycle time. You need to, there needs to be a conversion left. You need to mitigate the risks. All these things become very important. Uh, it needs to be a move beyond a pilot uh, at scale for you to be able to measure that. Right. And, and you need to be measuring the right things. You need to have a sense of what actually matters yeah uh, absolutely yeah absolutely yeah um the big news out of ibm right now is the planned acquisition of confluent uh can you speak at all about about how that's going to work in terms of you know what we've been told is that ibm wants to create a, a smart data platform um how might that can you tell us a little bit about those plans and how that might impact api management in the future um, I mean, my information is whatever is in the public uh, domain, right? Uh, we want to create a smart data platform for enterprise AI. Ability for real-time governed data access across the hybrid environments. Mm -hmm. uh, Confluent you, provides a huge leg up uh, for us. Uh, uh, of course, uh, provided we get the regulatory approvals and et cetera for, uh, for the acquisition. Uh, so, what that means is there's a convergence of uh, APIs and events, right? And that's real-time event information. That's where Confluent co comes in. Um, we, the AI agents that you're building need live data streams, live signals. That That's where Confluent will be uh, very helpful. So, uh, trustworthy in motion data, uh, very important. Uh, and I think Confluence capabilities uh, to support HNDK AI use cases becomes very relevant. Um, and that's where I see a huge impact for uh, with the Confluent acquisition and the future of API management. Um, Naraj, can you tell me a little bit about the WHI um, uh, program or project that you're that you're involved in? So, uh, WHI is uh, our 
uh, web methods, uh, IBM web methods hybrid integration. That is our uh, premier offering uh, for uh, hybrid integration, but right? it provides multiple capabilities. Um, it is, uh, it's available on the AWS marketplace. It provides, uh, uh, it's an AI infused hybrid integration platform. It provides um, MFT capabilities, event gateway capabilities, API uh, 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 management capabilities, all together on a single AI infused platform. Uh, the key uh, part of it is it provides a hybrid control plane, uh, right? So using a single control plane, you can look at multiple deployments of this or usage of this API across your uh, hybrid environment. Uh, that's a very powerful tool. Uh, and that is something that uh, IBM and the integration team is heavily betting on. Uh, and we have extremely great success stories. Uh, and we talked about this at uh, the recent AWS reInvent uh, uh, conference as well about WHI and the use of WHI. So very excited about it. So so a use case for this would be an uh, organization that deploys ac against across multiple environments. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, hybrid, hybrid cloud or hybrid yeah, I mean, the name web methods hybrid uh, integration. <laughs> it's right there. It's <laughs> so, right there in the name. <laughs> right so, I mean, uh, hybrid by design is a key design principle uh, for us, for IBM, right? So we, we will always talk about not one hyperscaler, but multiple different uh, deploy, deployed infrastructure. It could be on-prem, it could be uh, uh, AWS, uh, it could be Microsoft, it could be um, other SaaS services, different types uh, that enterprises use. Uh, so you need to have uh, ability to have a control plane across uh, all of these uh, for your APIs and uh, different capabilities. That's very, very relevant. And um, what's on the roadmap for um, the project you're involved in for for um, WHI, for for API Connect and and smart APIs in general at, at IBM. Uh, I mean, in general, if you want to talk about uh, we we talk about agent gateways, we talked about edge gateways, nano gateways, AI gateways, right? Uh, infusing us uh, AI uh, in these capabilities. Uh, in, in, when we talked about security and governance integration, right? Uh, very relevant given the sprawl that is there. Um, unified APIs and events, right? Uh, AI aware routing and usage analytics. All of these are capabilities that are that we are building into our products and uh, very excited about uh, the roadmap that the current capabilities that we have, uh, as well as the roadmap on some of these products that we talked about, be it WHI or be it uh, API connect. Okay. Um, I, I guess, uh, I guess that's, that's a wrap. And I want to thank, uh, Naraj Nargun for, for, of IBM for joining us today. Thank you very sure. much, Naraj. And, uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us for our conversation. This has been Heather Joslin from the new stack. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all the major social media platforms. You can always find us at thenewstack.io. We hope to see you soon.